Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi, how are you? What up, world? It's CoStar here. I'm back alive. I've been sick. That's why we've been missing, but I'm back. Heading into season back seven, episode better. 17 The Office. Make sure this you are subscribed. It's called Todd Packer. I don't know where we're going with this. Is it about Packer, probably? Yeah, because that's the guy's name, isn't it? I Packer? Believe so. I believe he always say Packer. I don't know. Never hear him say his first name, so it might be. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania. Oh, You're God. eating eight-year-old tomatoes. They're still good for another week. All right, picture this. Snowy ash drizzles from the sky. There's only one hope left for you. The door to my shelter. You pound. Kevin will be eaten. Pam will be taken slave. This day will come. It's just a matter of time. Could be one month. Could be two months. Eleven months. Perhaps. 494 months. I could see that happening. I realized I had shirts in five different women's houses. It was the best of times. It was the awesomest of times. What is them photos? What Horrible. is that? That was the worst Horrible. flashback photos I've ever seen in my life. That hair was not it. Ever. Michael, I thought we're meeting Holly today, not Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to take no Jennifer Aniston slander on this channel. Don't he ever in his life disrespect her. What is wrong with him? That is not Jennifer Aniston. Not even close. Don't you disrespect her. Don't you disrespect her, dog. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a guy. I'm going to have to turn this episode off. I'm going to have to turn it off. Oh, Michael, this will be just us. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and it also helps if you've had five shots. I already have. Oh. Why is he talking to Holly? Don't, no, don't care. Michael loves you. Hey, gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a man who needs no introduction. In all seriousness, Todd Packer is a permanent salesman. Yes. What? That, Another that, salesman? That was the most terrible interview I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, she didn't. She could open the. She could left the door open for that. Everybody could have just said that in the in the hall or in the anywhere, kitchen, anywhere. You suckers will do. Nice. <laughs> Packer is turning in his car for a desk. Holly, you approved this? Oh, yes, I did. I think Todd's going to make a great addition. Seems a couple of you don't know what the word approved means. Oh, my God. Where did this come from? Who did this? I don't want to say the other one was old, but Wait. its IP number was one. Can I do something for you? Just help someone out. Feels good. Nice. Special delivery for Dwight K. Schrute. I didn't order anything. Man, I don't have anything for you. Well, there's a lot of seats in the annex. So you wouldn't mind permanently relocating? I've been sitting here for 10 years, Michael. Well, I was there for 12 years. Should I get out? Michael, I don't want to move desks. Don't be a baby. Do I have any say in this? No! no. <clears throat> 20 to watch, Albert. You're growing here, bullcrap. You think you're so cute with your pretty blonde hair. Whoa. Well, Michael's recommendation was glowing. And honestly, he's been nothing but nice to me. We can't fire someone because we don't like him. Why, this isn't the U.S. government. Well, I mean, you help Michael. Well, if that's the case, I guess I've got to be fired, too. This guy's on a full beam reach. They're hiking out like mad. Luff him up. Luff him up. Hey, sailor, come on to your regard over here. Where did you get this? What does a guy have to do to whom to get one of them? OK, listen, we just don't have the budget for it, OK? Reception needed a computer. Yes, but reception is a one-person department. If I get you a new computer, I have to get one for everyone. I am. I, I need it. Yeah, if you're just handing them out, I want one, too. I'm sorry, Andy. So, Todd, this must be nice for you getting off the road. Get to spend some time with your daughter. Yeah, your life is so insane. You should write a book. You know how to read a menu. <laughs> Kevin, in sumo culture, You'd be considered a promising up and coming. <coughs> Aaron just wanted me to have it, so we switched. What? Aaron, is that true? This computer was for reception, okay? It's not yours to give away. Switch the computers back, Andy. No. Please make sure nobody is humping me. <laughs> oh, if you're going back to the annex. Question, should I get stripes shaved into the side of my head? No. If you're not going to take the ants over, I should probably just do it myself. Oh, I'm going. Oh, oh, well, no. oh, oh he's funnier than me. Um, He's not funny at all. Get the ants. Yeah, man, they're not gonna now she's about to move them around. There's no gonna be there's gonna be no ants by the time they get to the white. Get the ants out of there. Charlie bit my finger. Michael Scott, then all the way down here. He's a jerk. Uh, for Pete's sake, it just needs to be done. Hey, Packer. Huh? I made you some hot chocolate. Why? Got this awesome hot chocolate recipe for my wife. That's a lot of reasons. 
Drink it. So this hot chocolate thing, the packet. None of your business. Well, you know you can't actually poison him. I really think we should join forces on this one. Really? What do we think? What would drive him crazy? I was thinking maybe we could jam his drawers so that they only come out two inches, and then that way you can see everything. That wouldn't annoy a person at all. Where do you, where do you come up with this stuff? Okay. Right. Why don't you write up your best 40 ideas and email them to me? Can you do that? Uh, Pam, can I talk to you in private? I don't know if there's really a private place in this office. You did that? Can we talk about this in the meeting? Because we're already late. Okay. Well, what was I supposed to do? Huh? Let you walk all over me? You humiliated me in front of everybody. I can't replace your computer unless that one breaks. Well, I mean, it's pretty broken already. This is my else meeting? Hey, cats, we got a jam session. You know what? They all... <laughs> the office is always doing something extra. I thought it was a meeting room. Yeah. Now it has turned into... Well, that's probably his meeting time. All right. <laughs> so good. Number three, eat a frog. That sounds promising. Number four, what? eat a dog. Eat a brog. Maybe it's because I didn't understand it. Ah, just when we were. Did Jim not learn from the snowballs? Did he not learn from the snowballs? You're right, you're right. He didn't learn his lesson. He about to be back in the white graces. You better leave him alone. BitTorrent streaming from a Somalian music website? Oh. Yeah, why not? Why are really? you doing this to me, Andy? Because I hate your broke ass! Holly mentioned that there were some complaints and that you had said some things about Kevin. She asked me, Michael. Um, it would have been rude not to answer. You've been on the road a long time. Michael, can I open the kimono with you? I gotta, I gotta watch my behavior. Yeah, a little bit. He not. I need you to see this because maybe there is somebody here that you underestimated. Kevin, we know that you were just trying to save face. We know that you are hurt. And that I can dish it as good as I can take it. Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry if you were offended by my comments earlier. But it's so uncool. Ryan does this to me all the time. <laughs> I don't even understand why they're still together. I don't. I get really it. don't I either. Really but don't. I like it. Like Kelly, like always it. complaining about him, but yet you still with him. So the love outweighs. Love makes you do something. That's what you want to tell yourself. If that's what you want to tell yourself. Okay. Yep. You want an apology? Here goes. Kevin, I am so sorry. Packer is a survivor of divorce, Stanley. Angela loves pussycats. Packer No, lo don't! I was going to say dogs. Packer's going to be here until the day he dies, just like the rest of us. Should break this hinge, maybe. The psycho crazy. Well, thanks, will do. What you're gonna do is go ahead, hop it, and just head back to the pool. That sounds weird. Whatever you want to do in your spare time is up to you. Harry Potter world is supposed to be fantastic. And here's the best part. I'm a huge alligator nerd. Check it out and have a free butter beer on us. Keep the receipt and we'll get you back. Bye now. Bye. I cannot believe this. You're sending Packer to Florida? I've never seen Jim and Dwight actually work well yeah. together. They work well together, right? They're working well together. Usually they stuff yeah. go sideways real quick. They're working very well together. Is it going to work though? Michael about to go snitch. Look Look at the look in his face. You have to tell him what you did. No, 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 no. That, that is not in the plan. That is actually anti what we're doing. Pam, how is this thing even any better than my old computer? Come on, Andy. Yes, I found it on a shelf in the corner of the warehouse. All right. You're looking at the new face of corporate. Gonna put the ass in Tallahassee. Yeah. It's your girlfriend. Mm. She's uptight. All I'm saying is about a month or so, have you done a Florida? Introduce you to all the local. I think you're really going to enjoy it, Del. <laughs> wow. He's an ass. You are. <laughs> so in his new computer you found in the warehouse. It was yep. here. Lucked out. Yeah, you really did. Maybe you go back down there and see if you can find me some extra sick days. I think go. maybe I saw five. Damn. Three. Who is this new Pam? That this is Pamela. Is she out here just scamming the office? This is up? Pamela. This episode was really good. Uh, but, I mean, I feel like everybody either has encountered or came across, well, same thing, has encountered or worked with or known. Or even has them, one of them in their circle. Everybody has encountered a Packer. Oh. Everybody. 100%. If you have, let us know down below in the comment section. You don't have to go in depth of what the situation was. Just let us know. Have you ever known, encountered, been friends with, coming, some people are friends with that. Look at Michael. I mean, I, I've known a couple Packers, and it's just like, I'm going to punch him in the face. But it was a good episode, and I'm so happy that Michael kind of jumped on the 
Dwight and Jim Train. Yeah. Well, Packer is out there. We didn't want no extra. You were supposed to toot. I didn't want no extra person in the office. I don't need to toot it. Just toot. I don't do no tooting around here. (laughs) We're not around these parks. Just toot toot. The thing is, I didn't want nobody else in that office. I'm glad Packer got kicked out. We didn't need the extra person. I didn't think he was going to go that fast. So, I thought it was going to take a minute. I'm glad he got out as fast as he did. We don't need an extra person in there. The office is fine the way it is. We need no extra people. Where is Toby? He got kicked out. I know. They sent him somewhere else. I know. Are we going to see Toby? Look. No, no, they don't spoil it. They're not going to spoil it. Yeah, because I know he's coming back. yes or no. Then that's telling me he's coming back. But that's not like there's no when, how, where, nothing. Just let us know. I'm going to be anticipating him coming back. Don't tell me. Because I'm a Toby fan. Is Toby going to make a comeback? Don't tell D. Is she also? Don't tell her. Make her. You know how, like in the other episode we just reacted to, like we had like the past come back. Is that something they like to you know demo? You just like knowing stuff. I do because it makes me like anxious because I was like, oh. Don't tell her nothing. Tell me. Don't spoil it. Don't tell her. But just look, 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 look. Here we go. Just give me some tea. Yeah, I don't want to drink it all. Just give me a little spoonful. You know how, like, you spoon it and then you blow it because it's super hot? Like, you know when you have tea and you're like, ooh, it's too hot, you can't drink it. So give me a spoonful, blow on it, and then I'll drink it. That's how much Goodbye. I want. That's how much I want. Don't give her none. Stop. Slap that hand when she's going there and stick that spoon in there. 